Welcome back to our channel. I'm Steven, she's Andy, and this week we're in Las Vegas. <laughs> Last week, we pulled off our second ever live stream by taking you all out live on the Vegas Strip. Today, we're exploring vintage Vegas with a visit to Las Vegas' oldest freestanding bar, a museum dedicated to Sin City's classic neon signs, and a very special dessert in one of Frank Sinatra's favorite spots. <laughs> oh my God, that's so cool. So we are staying at the Flamingo Hotel and Casino, and we chose it for three reasons. One, we got a really great rate, so that was a no-brainer. Number two, it is the oldest still operating casino and hotel on the Las Vegas Strip, in keeping with our vintage Vegas theme. That's right. In <laughs> fact, it just turned 75. Ooh, happy birthday, Flamingo. And number three, it's got this awesome little habitat here, which is filled with ducks, koi fish, pelicans, turtles, and of course, flamingos. Hotel and Casino is often associated with the Rat Pack, much like a lot of the other stops we're gonna make today. However, only Dean Martin ever headlined here. The Rat Pack were known to headline more at the Sands or Caesars just across the way. Shows at the Flamingo nowadays include Wayne Newton, a burlesque show, RuPaul's Drag Race Live, and Piff the Magic Dragon. A lot of places here are only open Thursday through Monday, and it's currently Tuesday, so this place is closed, the steakhouse is closed, so definitely check into the places that you know you wanna visit before you book your trip. Make sure the restaurants, shops, and whatever other amenities you wanna take advantage of are actually operating during the time you're here. And of course, we're gonna give you a room tour, but we knew that by now, we'd have messed it up pretty good. So we're gonna throw it back to Vintage Steven to show you around. You guys ready for a room tour? We just got here, so we want to take you in and show you around before we get a chance to mess it up. So let's go take a look. We originally booked a king single bed. The room wasn't ready, so they gave us a double queen. Looks pretty awesome. We're stoked about that. Hopefully that's going to be comfortable because we are awfully tired. And look at this amazing view we got of the strip. We are on the 22nd floor. You can see a bit of the Bellagio over there. We got Caesar's Palace right across the street. We got the Link zip line just next to us here. And of course the Mirage right over that way. And over here is the bathroom. All right, nice big walk-in shower. Very modern. Got all the amenities here. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Very nice sink. And then check this out. Oh yeah. From the golden days of the Flamingo. So there's our room. It's a standard room, but that's cool. We're on high rollers and this is gonna be an awesome base for the next couple nights. And now we can't wait to see the rest of vintage Las Vegas. Now we're gonna go ahead up north towards downtown Las Vegas. Got a few really cool spots to check out. And ultimately we're gonna end up at the Neon Boneyard and then a very special dessert. But first, I had to make a quick non-vintage stop at the Javiana store to get something for our upcoming cruise. Watch for that in March. Next up 
takes us a little bit north of the Strip, pretty close to Fremont Street, actually, in downtown Las Vegas. What is one of the main reasons people, I'll give you a better hint, couples come to Las Vegas? To get married, of course. We're at a little white wedding chapel, and I'm not just describing it, that's its name. In more recent years, it's officiated weddings for Britney Spears and Michael Jordan. Yeah, and back in the day, it officiated Patty Duke's first and third <laughs> weddings. I wonder where she got the second one done. As well as Judy Garland, Joan Collins, Paul Newman, and of course, Frank Sinatra and Mia Farrow. the world's first drive through tunnel of love here where you can get your wedding officiated by Elvis. And they even have this really cool Cadillac. All right, we've made another quick non-vintage stop. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> we are just a short ways from a little white wedding chapel in the Arts District at Golden Fog Coffee because you know we need our coffee yeah, we breaks. Need it so much. <laughs> Today we want to thank our supporter of our Buy Me A Coffee campaign, Magenta Otter Travels. Check out her channel, she travels all around England, does cultural comparison videos between the US and England, it's a lot of fun. Dara, thank you so much for this coffee. This, this buzz, buzz is, is for you. you. <laughs> We're following our drink stop with another drink stop. <laughs> we're making our way up to the Neon Boneyard, but first, we're gonna stop here at Atomic Liquors. It is Las Vegas's first ever freestanding bar. <laughs> Can you see me through all this hair? Oh my gosh. It was established in 1952, and they had to create a whole new liquor license for this type of establishment because everything before this was part of a hotel and a casino. So they got their liquor license number 000, I don't know how many zeros, one. We are finally here. We've been most excited about this stop on this trip. Well, maybe this and dessert that's coming up next. That's gonna be real fun too. But this is the Neon Museum and Boneyard. They are dedicated to preserving Vegas's history of neon. So they've got all of the old signs here, the Moulin Rouge, the old hard rock giant guitar. And some of them, I think about 27 of them, they've already preserved. So they light up. They still do all of their little dancey lights and whatever else they do. It's gonna be so fun to check these out. We have a tour here in 15 minutes. We're not allowed to video inside, unfortunately, but we can take pictures. So we're gonna show you what we get. Before dessert, we decided to make a quick stop at another famous spot near the museum. If you're at all familiar with Vegas, you probably know Fremont Street. But did you know that it was the first paved road in Las Vegas? That happened back in 1925. Nowadays, you can still gamble at classic spots like Binion's and the Golden Nugget and still get a cheap steak dinner. 
And you can also zip line under a multimedia light music show. It is our last stop of the night and of this trip because we fly out tomorrow morning. We are at the Golden Steer, which is just a little ways off the strip near the Sahara, so kind of in the northern part of the strip. It was established in 1958, and back in the day, it was a favorite of the Rat Pack, Marilyn Monroe, several others from the Golden Era. I think they probably came here for the steak, but we're going to get the dessert, which we hear is a bit of a show. Happy food dance! 
Yes. <laughs> Talk about comfort. The orange in there is amazing. You can taste it. There's so many flavors going on. It's great. Oh, I can't wait to try it. All right. So that was the Bananas Foster, and they also do Terry's Jubilee table side as well, which we got to see one of the other tables next to us get. It looks so good. I went with something a little more boring, just a little. It's a Coco Kahlua Creme Brulee. So this came out already prepared. We didn't get a show along with this one, but it is delicious. We are stuffed, oh my God. but what a fun day and what a way to end our trip here in Vegas. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. We'll see you next see time. You next time.